If it were impossible for humans to sink into the abyss of evil, then what on the one hand we call love and on the other freedom would also be unattainable for them. To the esotericist, freedom is inseparably connected with the concept of love. Love would be impossible for human beings and freedom would be impossible for them without the possibility of sailing down into the abyss. A person unable to freely choose good or evil would be only a being led on a leash to a good that must be attained due to necessity, a being with no power to choose the good from a fully purified will through the love that springs from freedom. If it were impossible for human beings to follow the trail of the monster with the two horns, it would also be impossible for them to follow God out of their own individual love. It was in accordance with a wise providence that the possibility of freedom was given to a humankind that has been developing through our planetary system, and this possibility of freedom could be given on no other condition than that human beings themselves have to make the free choice between good and evil. But this is only an empty theory, you might say, and humans rise only slowly to the point where they not only say this in words and accept it in moments of speculation as a kind of explanation, but also experience it in their feeling. Seldom do people now rise to the thought, I thank you, O wise providence, that you have made it possible for me to bring you a love that is not forced, but springs up free in my own breast, that you do not force me to love you, but have given me the choice of following you.